If you're a new hunter that's just starting to feed your whitetails protein, you know, check out Record Rack first. But here's a couple things to consider. What is the type of feeder that you're gonna use? This is what they call a gravity feeder, right? It's real simple, put it all in the food. It's kind of like a self-serve. The whitetails can get it all the time, no matter when they need it. Now, the other type of popular feeder that you have is the spin cast. You know, if you guys have watched any of the Texas hunts, right, that they use a lot of those spin casts. What those are good for? Feeding a large variety of animals, but it's always at a certain time. Why is this important to you guys? Well, first off, it's what type of food that you're gonna need. If you're using something like the Sportsman's 20, which is a protein pellet, those have to be in a gravity feeder because what happens if you put those in the spin cast, first the spinner is gonna break them all apart, and then second, when they hit the ground, even if it didn't rain, the ground's got a lot of moisture in it, the pellets just suck up moisture and they're gonna blow up and then the whitetails aren't gonna eat them. So then you could need something if you're using a spin cast, kind of like the golden nuggets. The nuggets are harder. You can put them in that spin feeder. It's still a high protein source of feed. So now I can run golden nuggets. I'm better than corn, right? Cause you can use corn in spin feeders, but again, corn is just high in fat, right? It's, it's not a protein source. It's just that energy source. If you're feeding your whitetails, especially in the spring, check out Record Rack's products. If you're looking for a protein, Sportsman's 20 pellets are the way to go. Or if you got a spin cast, the Golden Nuggets.